thanks for tuning in and welcome to my channel. As you guys probably noticed on my socials, SimLab hooked me up with a cockpit, the P1X. And in this video, we will have a closer look into this P1X, the accessories I got with it, and I'll explain you guys why this is one of the most popular sim rigs at the moment. A lot of professional sim racers and YouTubers are using this cockpit and there are of course several reasons for it. First of all, the sturdiness. It's a really strong cockpit which can handle a lot. It's nice and compact, but most important, it has a really wide range of adjustment possibilities. Unfortunately, I lost all of my time-lapse footage of the build-up, but I will show you the hardware which is being used to build up the SimLab cockpit. SimLab cockpits are actually really easy to build. I have a piece of the aluminum profile. I got some T-nuts and then we also have the corner brackets and different types of bolts. So the T-nuts allow you to attach these brackets to the profile. You can just slide the T-nut in the channel or you can get it in the channel by pushing it in. You can put the bracket in the corner of the two profiles and then you just use the bolt to attach the corner bracket in the T-nut. So that's how you build the SimLab cockpit. But if you want to see a full video on how to build the P1X, you can check out Barry's video on Sim Racing Garage. He made a really in-depth video on how to assemble this cockpit. On the SimLab website, you can just configure it your own setup to your own preference. Let me show you how I configured mine. So I have the P1X Sim Racing chassis in black color. The P1X is actually just an improvement on the P1. The basic configuration is kept, only a few things are added, like the four feet brackets for extra stability and they also reworked the pedal tray for a bigger range of adjustabilities. You can basically angle it however you want. You can have them closer to yourself or further away. You can have them low or high and you can also tilt them. I also have the pedal slider attached to my pedal tray. Now and then I have some sim racing friends coming over and then it's quite handy to adjust the pedal distance. Same counts for the seat slider. But even more important than these range of possibilities is the fact that the pedal plate has zero flex. So I can push the brake pedal as hard as I want, you won't see any movement. Now that we've covered the pedals, let's continue with the wheelbase side mounts. Since I have a Fnatic Direct Drive, I've chosen the P1X with the Fnatic Direct Drive side mounts. These allow you to adjust the angle of the DD. I prefer these more because it looks really neat and it also frees up some extra leg room. And of course they are really really firm, there is absolutely no play on the wheelbase while sim racing. In the direct drive world it's really important to have a wheelbase mount system that is very strong, sturdy, steady, has zero flex while sim racing since a direct drive will put more force to your rig. So continuing with the seed, I have the SimLab Speed 1 bucket seat which is really comfortable, it's really tight so it's perfect for my size and it also comes with a mobile phone pocket which is also really handy. On the right side of my cockpit I have the Fnatic shifter side mounts and as you can see there are several mounting possibilities here as well. I really like the distance of my shifter to my wheelbase, it's not too close, it's not too far. I also have a cup holder, it's not a fundamental accessory but more like a nice to have. When I was configuring my setup I really had my eyes on the keyboard tray. I think it's so handy to have your keyboard at a close distance to yourself while sim racing and you can also just move the keyboard tray when you want to get out of the rig. Since I'm using the BenQ triple screen gaming monitors, I was in need of a triple monitor stand. I struggled a bit with the angles of the monitors but eventually managed to have them at around 45 degrees. As you can see I have my monitors really close to my cockpit. It gives that cockpit feeling like in a real car. So the triple monitor stand also allows you to properly do your cable management. I got a lot of compliments about it and as you can imagine I've got a lot of cables running behind the setup. So I've got cables from my monitors, I've got cables running from the direct drive, uh, the shifter, the handbrake, the pedals and so on. And these cables all need to go to the PC. So if you look at the back of my rig, you can see I have all the cables running up on the back of my monitors. And you can just have the cables run through the channels of the profile. 
And this is the point where the cable management clips are really important if you want to do a proper job. So guys, to end this video, what do I think of my new SimLab P1X cockpit? Well, SimLab cockpits are popular for a reason and every SimLab owner can agree on me when I say how firm and sturdy this cockpit actually is. Like I showed you earlier, there's absolutely no flex on the side mounts nor on the pedal plate and these things are really important for me. Other than that, considering the fact I'm quite a tiny person, not all sim rigs fit me that well. Most of the time I'm just too small and the adjustabilities are limited. But the sim lab does, so I've set up my pedal and my seat distance in a way that allows me to have the perfect seat position. And I can easily adjust this when I have friends over who are taller than me or even smaller than me. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye.